Good day everybody, welcome to my first vlog to recap my top 5 moves of the week. We start off today with front squats, these went rather well, still only 100 pounds however, I do find these aggravate my upper trap muscle, which is an injury that I am slowly recovering from in addition to the higher rep range of 10 to 12, I find out these tire me out far quicker than let's say a 5x5. Five five. We continue to work on form and add more weight as the weeks progress. Sumo deadlifts went all right. This set was for 235 pounds for a total of four sets. There seems to be a sticking point during the initial pull. Hips seem to shoot up prematurely. We'll continue to monitor this and focus on correcting in the future sessions. And for those of you who ask if pulling sumo is my favorite, it's my second favorite actually. I still prefer trap bar deadlift, which I plan to return into my routine within the next few weeks as a, at our primary or secondary move. By the way, if you enjoy the video, feel free to hit like and subscribe to the channel. Seventy pound dumbbells for a total of 140 on the incline bench press for, I believe, three sets. The primary reason for getting these Bowflex 1090 dumbbells was for my bench work. See, my hex dumbbell set maxed out at 60 pounds. You'll notice these things are huge and they are. The size can pose issues when performing certain exercises. However, overall, they are a good set and go up to 90 pounds. Also, you may notice I put towels on my bench. Well, that is a story for another time. Two hundred pounds on the back squat for a set of six reps. This was my third set for a total of four sets of the day. I still cannot fully hit parallel since I pulled my muscle in my inner thigh region. However, making progress week by week, it occurred right after hitting a two hundred fifty pound PR for five reps, and since then, been building my squat up from one hundred pounds by adding ten pounds a week every week. The bar pad is to aid in my trap issue as discussed previously in the video. Overall I am happy with the way this set went. And lastly, this is the donkey calf raise using a cable machine with a dip belt for 100 pounds. Just trying this out to see how it feels, I felt rather silly to be honest. However, we wanted to include this to generate some ideas among the community on exercise alternatives while in a home gym environment. I find it difficult to come up with variations of calf raises that are easy to load and load heavy. Well, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you around for the next one.